All right, vlog. So after a long time of trying to figure out what I was gonna do for my YouTube this summer, I finally decided that I'm gonna do summer diaries. All right, vlog. So after a long time of trying to figure out what I was gonna do for my YouTube this summer, I finally decided that I'm gonna do summer diaries. So the first episode of my summer diaries is creating healthier habits. So that consists of me getting up early, getting my stuff done early, not procrastinating, eating breakfast, getting what I gotta get done done. Because this whole year so far, I feel like I've really been putting off a lot of stuff that I could have like been done like. Last summer, I paid for a course to take, right? It expires two years after you buy it. I paid for a course, and I'm just now taking the course today, like, at 4 p.m. And I don't know why. I had nothing to do in between. I literally just been putting it off. Like, I was procrastinating so bad. But I take it today at 4. So that's Summer Diaries 01. That's Creating Healthy Habits creating healthier habits then i had an open interview to go to this morning they're still going on until two but i i'm not gonna go you you better not start barking while i'm vlogging girl you hear her but they had open interviews today but when i called the lady's like oh i don't know that's hr like hr deals with that but it's like how y'all don't know if the open interviews are happening like at chat business like how y'all don't know that hr scheduled something there but i'm not wasting my time because it's an hour away from my house so if i go an hour for them to turn me around and i have to ride an hour back immediately i'm gonna be like distraught so yeah we're not doing that but I just posted a video too two days ago. So if you didn't watch that one, tune into that one. It was my college move out vlog. I have to figure out my situation for this semester, like my upcoming semester. For the most part, I'm good though. Like I just have to finish situating stuff. But so far, I've been doing really good with not procrastinating. I've been waking up in the morning. I've been eating breakfast. I've been handling my business. I've been getting what I got to get done done. Like I haven't been procrastinating. So so far, my like. My my summer diaries are going well, but I'm about to get myself together and figure out what I'm gonna do from now until I have things to do, and then I'll be back, vlog. Oh, first of all, I look crazy. I just got out the class. First of all, y'all, the sun is down and everything. But when I said I was creating healthier habits, that meant eating at home, all right? Because when I was at school, I probably ate out every chance that I got off the strict, simple fact that, like, it's, like, but so much you can eat in Virginia. But I'm back at home, y'all, so we're going to be eating, like, eating, so... I'm going to keep you guys posted. I just got out of my class. I'm going to continue this vlog tomorrow when I get up. This is probably going to be like another weekly vlog because I like my life is like really slow right now. So like I don't really have nothing much to do. I don't have anything to do, nothing to talk about, nothing to keep you guys posted about. Um, I'm lying. I'm lying. But I'm going to talk to you guys tomorrow. No, not tomorrow. Maybe later. So I know I said that I'm going to do summer diaries and it's not summer, but it's summer for me because college is over y'all like my spring semester finished fall semester finished like i'm home until my next semester in the fall and so this is just like my summer diaries like i'm standing in the kitchen waiting for the water to boil now because if i go sit back down on the couch and unpause my show i'm gonna get distracted because i have a short attention span but i think i want to do like an episode where it's just like strictly girls talk because I've had so much bottled up, like, so much to talk about, so much to cover. Like, I don't understand why people act the way they do, why females act like that, why males act like that, especially males. Like, I don't know what this generation's problem is with normalizing the way that men act and the way men cheat. And no, I didn't get cheated on. I'm perfectly fine. But I just see so much around me, and I just be witnessing stuff, and then I be watching people go through stuff. And it honestly really is a lot. And I done went through some stuff myself when I was younger. I definitely had a boyfriend who was, like, terrible for me, but I didn't see through that. Like, I didn't see past that and see past, like, how bad he was for me until it was too late. 
I thought that was love. I definitely told him he was my, like, one of my first loves. I lied. That wasn't love. Like, boy literally played me like a dummy. But I just want to really, like, one of these days, I really want to sit down and just talk about it. Because, like, I'm healed now. Like, I could really admit that, like, I went through some stuff as a child. But I pushed through it. Like, I got over it, literally. not did I have to change my SD card mid-vlog. But, like, anyways, I don't even remember what part I left off on. And I can't even, like go back because why am I thing making me look like I got sharp cheekbones hold on let's see anyways long story short y'all I just really need to talk to y'all like I really like I have like the amount of friends that I have I could literally count it on one hand so like I don't be really venting to nobody like I really take all of the stuff on a chin like I take everything on a chin because like that's just how I that's not how I was raised I was raised in a really loving household my mom was always like welcoming my parents always open arms I could come to them about anything but I always chose to keep stuff bottled up for reasons like I can't explain I really don't know why but for the most part yeah like YouTube is really becoming my thing like it's just so much easier to sit here and talk to a camera than it is to sit there and talk to other people but more of the story y'all yeah, I'm really like getting my life together like i'm really doing a whole 360 and i really love that for myself like i really want you guys to sit here and watch the growth like if you was watching my channel from when i very 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 first started youtube to now like you'll really see the difference and like how i used to edit how i used to vlog and then i got the camera like but i have a camera now i never thought it would might like me getting into youtube would be deep enough for me to get a camera like I always wanted one, but I never really thought, like, I would actually get a camera. I always thought I was going to be, like, off my phone and my iPad and stuff. But I really was dedicated to YouTube. Like, it was a time where I literally had no storage on my phone or my iPad, and I vlogged a whole video on Maya's phone, edited it on Maya's phone, posted it on Maya's phone because I had no storage. Like, I really was trying my hardest to be consistent, and I'm really working on my consistency. But I'm going to be back when the food is finished because I'm about to finish everything and watch my show. If you're wondering what the show is, it's Law & Order. I've been on The Rookie and Law & Order bad. I'm talking about binge watching. Like, I binge watched the whole six seasons of The Rookie in like five days. Like, I had no life. And I was sad. Like, I really get sad really fast. I lied. I don't get sad that fast. I be more, like, emotional. I don't really be sad. Like, I'll be down for, like, five minutes, and then your girl bounce right back. But I'm going to stop running my mouth. I'm going to let you guys chill. I'm going to be back to you guys when, like, I have an update. Like, most likely the food, so. a professional plate maker or nothing but i feel like your girl hold on i feel like your girl did her big oh i'm messing up my sister corn and stuff i feel like i did my big one like i didn't come back to school from school to be a chef but i feel like i ain't got a little uh, I'm a real firm believer of making something out of nothing so with that being said I have some footage from when I got my nails first done they're still pretty decent or whatever but I got some footage from when I got them first done and I never had nothing to throw it in with so since this is my summer diaries I'm going to put it in like and I'm in the title I'm gonna do like cooking talking nail appointments check your girl out I'm doing my thing, but whatever.
Friday vlog. So I'm working on doing my exit clips, whatever the case may be. So I just finished editing my whole video. It was like a little light 10 minutes. It was going to be my trial and error video for my summer diary. So in the video, I didn't really do too much. It was a vlog. It was like pretty much that was all that it was but i'm definitely starting my birthday prep video tomorrow tomorrow i'm gonna go shopping and start preparing for my birthday that's next week so i don't know if i'm gonna drop a video in the middle of that or if i'm gonna just wait until like it's my birthday but a girl your girl look a mess like i don't even know what i'm doing with my hair like i don't even know if i'm gonna do a blonde if i'm gonna do a middle i'm gonna do a side and i'm gonna do my own lashes like my next video is definitely gonna be like my birthday prep no mm -mm. i don't know what it's gonna be but i'm really i'm like i'm really like being consistent like this summer i'm going to be consistent like i'm going to stay on my youtube stuff so i hope you guys enjoyed um make sure you guys subscribe make sure you guys like because i'm dropping videos like every week literally every week like i'm gonna stand on my word so bye vlog